greetings my dear followers now i will teach you how to design borders following chapters only first i will copy this color code from adobe in design and go to adobe illustrator take the pen tool and the shortcut key is p and draw the stroke like this on the artboard now double click this stroke and paste the color code right here that I copied from the Adobe InDesign. Increase the stroke size to 20 points. Let me take these two anchor points and bring them down. Now I will hold these corners to form a curve. Now I will go to object and expand this stroke to make it a shape. Now let's go to Adobe InDesign, go to Pages Panel and the shortcut key is F12. And we need to create a new master page. Right click the panel and select new master. In this tab, I will choose number of pages as 1 because I want to implement this to only one page. And the second thing is, I will choose based on master as A master. Why? Because A master has page numbers already. So the B master page will follow along with the page numbers. Let me explain it. So we can see this page B right over here. This is because the page is following A master. If we didn't choose A master before, there won't be any page number over here. Now, I will copy the border from the illustrator and paste it over this B master. Let's place this border under the pink edges. Next, I want to apply this B master over the chapter pages only. Let's go to the chapter number 1, Introduction. So, you can see there is no border on the particular page. Bring the B master and drop it right over the first page. And now, you can see the border has been applied only to the selected page. Notice, when I click on the border, it cannot be edited at all. Also, notice that this border is overlapping the title of this page. How to fix it? Very simple. Go to B master page and move the border slightly up. Mm, like this. Alright. Let's go back to the introduction page. Ah, perfect. The title and border look stunning together. However, I want to bring the border slightly close to the edge. Let's go to the B master and adjust the border. I'm pretty satisfied. Let's go back to the introduction page and wow, this looks perfect. Now, I want to apply this border to every chapter of this document. Let's go to chapter number 2. Ah, let's bring this down to the end of the page. Press enter. Note that this is page number 18. Bring the B master to page number 18. Now, here's the thing. This border is overlapping the title of chapter number 2. I have a solution for this problem. Go back to the illustrator. Edit the length of the border. Let's bring this shape to the right and adjust the anchor point so to fit the page well. Now, copy this border and go to Adobe InDesign. Go to B Master and remove this old border. Great! Now paste this new border. Looks pretty good. Let's go to chapter number 1 to see how the new border looks. Wow, this is stunning and very spacious. Great. 
Now let's go to chapter number 2 and see if the problem is fixed. Perfection. Let's apply this B master to every chapter. Bring the chapter number 3 to next page. And let's adjust this paragraph to fit nicely to the page. Notice that the page number is missing after the page number 22. The reason is there is no master applied to it. So let's grab the A master and drop it right on the page 23. Boom! Here the page number appears. Now see the difference. If I apply A master to this chapter, you will notice only page number has been added to this page. However, if I apply B master, the border and the page are added to this page. That's the concept of masters. Next, let's bring this heading of chapter number 5 to the next page. Let's apply B master to both of these chapters. Alright, hope this tutorial gave you clear instructions to manage the pages. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.